Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So today we're going to be working on the monthly quest for State of Decay 2. This is worth 75 Microsoft Rewards points, and we need to recruit two survivors within this game. So I know a lot of us have done quests in this game before, but I don't believe we've ever had to recruit two survivors before. So this was a little bit of a learning experience, and I will tell you the fastest way that I have found to get this done. Now, State of Decay 2 is available on the cloud, so if you want to, you could go to xbox.com slash play to play it. Once you get the game started, start in the campaign mode. Heartland does not appear to work for this, and you can go ahead and start up a new community in an empty slot for this. If you have the option to skip the tutorial, I would encourage you to do that to save a little bit of time. If not, you'll need to spend five to 10 minutes going through the tutorial if this is your first time playing. And for my map, I chose the new Trumbull Valley map, which we used a couple days ago for a punch card. So we'll go ahead and start up there in the green difficulty, which is the easiest difficulty, and then just move down and press A to accept that. And you can choose whichever survivors you'd like to use for this. I just tend to always go with a default set since it doesn't really seem to make that much difference to me for punch cards or quests. So I just left all three of these at the default and moved down to start community and pressed A and then press A one more time to say yes. So there are a few little objectives that we'll need to do before we'll be able to recruit a survivor. This will probably take you about 20 to 30 minutes to complete overall, I would estimate. And we're gonna be going through this first section of a new community twice in order to get the two survivors that we need. So you can hold down the Y button to skip the opening cutscene. And the first thing you'll need to do is head up the hill here towards the green containers and establish your first base. This will probably look familiar to those of you who did the punch card with me back a week or so ago, but we're just gonna press Y to open up the door. You might need to tap X to ram your way through the door depending on which survivor you have. And you may have some zombies that you need to kill inside of here. Once you've finished them off just using the X button, you can press Y to go ahead and claim that first home site. I don't know why I didn't have any zombies this round, but usually there are two or three zombies that you need to kill inside of this home site. All right, so there are a couple of optional objectives here to go up to a survey point. You can ignore that. You don't actually have to go toward the survey point. It'll look like this where it has a little arrow pointing down. The one you want to go to is the one that has the magnifying glass on it. That's where you need to actually scavenge to look for some materials, a rucksack or a backpack full of materials. So you can hold down your left bumper to sprint, and I would encourage you to just kind of try to steer clear of the zombies if you can so you don't have to fight them as often. They just end up basically slowing you down and not really doing much for you. So just dash past them, run to the side of them if you can, just try to avoid them. And once you get close to the magnifying glass icon, that's where your materials will be. So you'll just open the door if it's inside of a building like this, and then you'll need to search one of the containers. So you can see them highlighted, and we're just gonna hold down the Y button to search. You can also do a fast search if you like, but it tends to make more noise, so I tend to just hold down the Y button for the search. Press A to take the materials that you find inside, and then you just need to head back to your home base. So your home base now will have the arrow with the little circle below it. Keep heading back towards that. It might take you a minute or two to run back there if you run out of stamina. But eventually you'll make your way back to the containers and the fencing here. And we just need to go inside and drop off the materials that we collected. So go into this little section, press Y to deposit. And then we'll need to go into one of the corners of this little safe zone, this outpost and build a facility. So you'll press Y and then A a couple of times to do that. You can see we earned some influence there. We'll need that in order to get our survivor recruited in just a few minutes. So that is the first bit of influence that we need. Now you'll get a call from one of the neighboring communities that is really not too far away. And you'll just need to head, take a look on your mini map for that orange sort of pointer and then start heading toward the indicator. It looks like a person. So head towards this orange person icon, and you may have a different community leader. This one was named Jerome, so I pressed Y to talk to Jerome and then agreed to collect a couple of play samples for him. 
Now, you should most likely have some zombies that are right around the leader's area, and I actually looked back behind him and I could see two zombies hanging out back there. So what you need to do is just kill a couple of them, and when they die, they will drop a plague sample. You need two of those for your leader. So I'm just mashing the X button, and sometimes it'll give you the prompt to hit the Y button to finish them off. But press Y to pick up the plague samples, and just kind of keep searching around until you've got two of them, and then you'll be ready to head back to the leader and drop off the plague samples. So we'll talk to him one more time, and then give him the two plague samples. So that kind of finishes the mission for this area, and you can see we earned some more influence, which is going to enable us to actually recruit Jerome. So press Y to talk to him, and then choose to recruit him to your community. And at this point, you're basically halfway done. You've recruited one survivor at this point. So what I would recommend to do is press Start and go down to Exit Game. And then you'll want to go ahead and basically restart. Now you could proceed on and try to recruit a different person from another community, but I found it a little bit easier to just kind of go through this first section twice. So start up campaign again, go to manage communities, find an empty slot and start up a new map on Trumbull. And after you've done that twice and you've recruited two members, then you should be finished with your monthly quest. So you could go ahead and turn that in and grab the 75 rewards points. So that is gonna do it for State of Decay 2. We've got a guide out already for Forza Horizon 4. We're gonna have guides for UFC, Black Desert, and all of the other weekly and monthly quests. So we'll see you in those guides. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.